So you've bought an amazing piece of art like this. Let me show you in this instructional video how to put it together on the easier art framing system. Again, I'm Gavin Bedford. I'm from a really small country town in the Northern Territory called Darwin and I live in Australia. So I have access to art like this, but I don't have the access to the big art framing places. And that's why I came up with Easy Art Frame. Something I can do, something you can do. Just imagine that this is your artwork. And I've chosen a fairly happy, bright artwork today to frame. It's uh, Possum Dreaming from Alice Springs in Central Northern Territory. It's just a nice, bright, happy painting that would look good on the wall. So let's frame that, shall we? What do you need? Well, when you get the Easy Art Frame package, it comes out of a box and looks something like this, where you've got all four corners uh, at one end. They're all tied together so that when you pull it out of the box, you've got it and it's protected. The other thing that will come in the box will be some wire to hang it. So there we have the frame and the wire, but there are probably a few other things that you're going to need to do as you go. Unfortunately, every painting is a different size, whether it's Aboriginal art like this or any art that you've purchased from a fair or Bali or wherever you've gone to get it or made it yourself, it will be a different size. So every frame is essentially its own unique frame for that particular piece of art. And so you're gonna to have to probably cut the wood now that's quite easy, measure it twice, cut it once, and you'll find that it'll fit the painting. How do you measure the painting? Well, the idea would be to stretch it out, like this, and measure it from the, the painted surface, in length like that, and then in width like that and record them and then do it again just to make sure that you've checked it twice and you're quite comfortable with how big the, the painted surface is so the other things that you will need will probably be a piece of sandpaper and of course a stapler the frame comes with identifiers on it and so it's just a matter of lining up each of these identifiers and slipping the wood into the corner to fit. So the long sides go all the way to the end, the short sides butt onto the side of the wood. So they only go in as far as the long bit of wood. But we've got a, a light, bright, happy painting, and we've got some light, bright, happy corners. But I actually make the corners in a whole heap of different colors. And really it doesn't matter what color corner you've got, you can't see it once it's on the painting. It, uh, it doesn't show through. Right. So there we go. We have the, the frame ready for the painting. On the back of the frame, on these sides, it actually says the flat side frame or staple here. You need to staple this on this side of the frame and the painting goes on the other side. And that's because the frame is actually tapered. It, it come, the, the wood itself comes down at a taper and we put the, the painting right over the top of that. So we will do that. Okay. So with the painting, you can see that we've got the beautiful painted surface that way. Lay it flat. And now you need to work out just where the painted surface is. What I generally do is look for the painted surface there and on the reverse put a small dot some form of identifying exactly where that painted corner is on the reverse side because that's where the, the, the frame needs to come to and I've done the same thing here so we have the painted surface coming to this particular corner here put your finger against your other finger roll it over and there is my little black dot so I've done that in all four corners so that I know exactly where the painting needs to, to come to. We take the corner, the frame, and we place it such that the corners line up with the four 
black dots that I have here. Obviously, make sure that everything's pushed in as it should be. So many people say that an art on a stretcher has to be like a drum, really tight, really, really tight. And many professionals will use pliers that have got a very wide mouth to pull the painting very tight. Now, I've been into an awful lot of galleries, I've worked in galleries, I know a little bit about what we're working with. And if you think logically about it, what is the painting? It's plastic, it's acrylic. It's, it's a substance that expands and contracts with heat. So if you've got it super tight and you tightened it so tight, it's like a drum in the middle of summer and you live in one of the warmer parts of the, the world where it gets cold in winter, what happens in winter when it's super tight? There's a good chance that you're gonna crack that plastic, that, that artwork that you're actually trying to protect. So I tend to go as tight as I can by hand. I'm really happy with that. And I know a lot of the very good galleries that, um, that work with very expensive artworks also do the same thing. So don't be too hung up on how tight you can or can't get it. As long as it's tight enough that you can see that there's no ripples in it and it, and it holds that integrity in summer and winter, you'll be happy. It's a beautiful artwork. So we'll staple this. And, and the idea is start from the side, right in the middle, as long as you've got your corners lined up and zap it. Now, I'm just going to go through this until I get to the corners. You'll see I'm just pulling it moderately tight there just to put the first few staples in. And I'll go through this and put it all together. And so we'll go a little bit quicker than just what you're seeing at the moment. Okay, now we've got to the point where we need to do the corners. And the corners are a bit of a special case. And if you don't like the way I do them, please have a look at on Google and type in how to do corners framing canvas art. And there are about a dozen different ways to do it. I do the one that I like and works for me, and it's quite simple. So please feel free to, to do the one that works for you best as well. So, I tend to go like this and then fold it a little bit there and then it will fold naturally down and you pull the side ones up. That. Unfortunately there's no simple answer because a, a flat surface doesn't go easily around the corner. So, right. Hung up on how to get that perfect corner. A lot of the art galleries will actually hit it with a hammer to get it nice and flat, make it sit as far down as it can, but ultimately you've still got a flap somewhere. Pretty much there you have it, a nice happy painting that you framed yourself. It looks beautiful. And again, it's nice and tight, yeah, you can hear it. the noise it makes when I hit it, you know, it's not, uh, it's not loose at all, it's very robust, trying to bend it is very good, uh, and that is the final product up, except for the fact that we need to put a stringer across it. Now, when we supply your easy art frame, we also supply a wire like this, a bit hard to see on camera, I guess, but we've supplied it so that it's long enough that you can hang this in 
landscape if you choose to. So it's, it's hung on the back like that and put up. And it's got a small loop that allows you to staple it. But I don't, I don't particularly want to hang this one landscape. I want to hang it as a portrait. And as you can see on the back, it has all this writing. So I'd like to be able to take the painting off when I'm talking to people about it and say, oh, here is the story about possum dreaming from uh, Johnny Brown in Central Australia. So what I would suggest you do, you work out how wide it needs to be and then you cut it. And I, I tend to put it two thirds of the way to the top of the painting and then we make a loop like this and you just wind it in very close to each, each turn, as close as you can possibly get it. You just wind it around half a dozen times. Staple this in place. Oh, if you're right, I didn't miss. And there you have it. The hanging artwork by Johnny Jackal Jerry Brown. Called Possum Dreaming. It's beautiful, isn't it? Very good. There are a few little subtleties that. Uh, I need to show you as well, just because this is very, um, uh, very flexible. You, as I mentioned previously, you can actually pull this one apart. You don't like you don't like Johnny anymore. You uh, you pull it apart and you put another painting uh, in its place by using different wood. I'd like to say, please have a look at the website. Uh, there's a lot on it uh, for easyartframe.com.au and uh, like us on Facebook.